Welcome to CodeLearners.com. In this video, we will learn how to use Laravel View Composer method to share data across all the views. So the first thing we'll start with an example. So I have taken an example of uh, uh, company information, uh, which is displayed across uh, header and footer, like company name, company customer care number, company customer care email, uh, company address, etc. So I am going to use this uh, information, information data uh, from both pages, like from home page and also contact page. I uh, will come to my editor and create a model and name it as company information model dot php. I will move that within models folder. I will copy the model and paste within the company information model and refactor the code. I will extend it to model. And change the model name to company information model. I will also specify some properties such as table. In this company information. Uh, now I will uh, specify primary key. In this case, it is ID. Now I will create fillable. It it will be an array. What's this company name? Uh, second one will be uh, customer customer care number. Third one is customer. Uh, email uh, customer care uh, email sorry and the last one is address company address so I will save this now so now I will create a composer uh, class for that I will create a folder within HTTP and name it as view composers Within view composer, I will create a class and name it as company info composer dot php. This is just a simple class. Now I will include a Laravel uh, view class. Which is an illuminate view slash view. And the next thing is, I will create a property, a protected property and give it a name as company, uh, company info and uh, I will assign it to empty array. I will also create an empty constructor and below that I will create a function and name it as get company info. This function uh, re uh, returns the company information. For that, I for that I use company information, company information model, and save the first data into the pr protected property company info. And below the and below uh, the another one thing the get company information method. Uh, this method uh, binds uh, binds the inform binds the company uh, company data uh, to the uh, company info. I will use uh, this data also to bind this bind the information to the 
give so that we can uh, use this uh, information across the different uh, views for that I will create a function I will create a function compose the first argument will be of uh, type view and I will pass the view with with method the first one is the key uh, this key this key is used to access uh, the value of the company information from the from the from template that is HTML HTML PHP template uh, I we have to access this by using variable that is dollar company info composer now I have to bind the data I will call get company information method within composer method So after this, I will create a service provider according to Laravel, uh, Laravel documentation it suggests you to create a service provider and name it as view service provider dot php. I will copy the data from app service provider and do certain minor changes here. I will change the class name. And also I'll remove the unnecessary code I will import the view com uh, view composer view from uh, La Laravel facades uh, this view contains the composer method which is used to uh, which is used to share data across different views within the boot method I use view uh, scope position operator composer method the first view will be the views to pass the star mark suggests that the data will be shared to all the views and then second parameter will be a callback function in in this case it is a class the class we have created that is company info composer uh, you can see it has been imported above So the next thing is I will create a controller and give it a name as view composer controller.php I will refactor the con controller code and extend the con and, uh, and extend the controller to the first the first one is I will change the controller name the second one is I will extend it to controller controller class and I will include that controller class at the top okay so now I will specify a method here the first one is home method which displays the home which renders the home page I will just return the uh, view without passing any data. Uh, I will create all my views within view hyphen composer folder. As you can see, I have passed the second parameter as empty array. So I will also create a second method contact and also change the view. I will create the folder within resource views and paste it here as view composer. Within view composer folder I will create home.blade.php and I will call the composer 
method uh, composer variable here which we have assigned in uh, company info composer class that is company info composer has a variable so company info composer contains the instance of company information model so i can use this as a uh, has a model and call the uh, company name i will also include all the other details Now I will create another view. I will name it as uh, contact .php and I will uh, I will the same the same data exists there. Now I will create routes for both home and uh, contact page. To access my URL, I use the URL uh, uh, as a view hyphen composer slash home. So now I have created the both both of the uh, both of the route route routes, and I think I just okay. Let me see that. Let let me first run the project. Local host. Uh, view hyphen composer. Oh, no Laravel. Score. Enter. I will go to public. You hyphen composer slash home. Enter. So now uh, we have error. Class controller not found. So I will uh, debug that. I have gone to view composer controller, and I will see the with whether I have included the correct path or not. Uh, actually, I have uh, forgot to include the uh, correct path. So now it works. I will refresh it. So now you can see company. Uh, okay. So. Okay, I actually forgot to include the service provider within the config app.php. You have to always include uh, providers and you have to scroll bottom where providers are there and at the last you have to include that the include your new service provider. Okay, so now you see that I will refresh. So now we can see that without passing a data we are uh, globally receiving uh, the data uh, company information up in home home blade home peer home view and the same thing is happening in contact page i am not passing any data here but still we are able to receive the data using the comp using composer using view composer so there are also uh, different ways you can uh, do the you, you can do the same uh, uh, you can same work if you don't want to if you only want to pass the data to a particular uh, specific view uh, then you just mention the name uh, if it is within the directory then you specify the name uh, directory name dot the file name that is blade template file name
for that you just call view composer view uh, scope relation operator composer and the first parameter will be array array this consists the uh, path to the view and the second is the callback function I will go to home okay I am sorry I actually forgot to mention the directory uh, view hyphen composer because our uh, home blade dot php is within the uh, view composer directory now I will go to contact so within the contact they, they, will, be, they will get there because we have haven't included that if, if I include that then the error goes so now you can see the data has been received so uh, if you don't want to create a co composer class every time uh, you can do it in a easy way also by passing the second parameter as a closer function so I will show that show you that now so the second parameter let me write this using a closure function so that for a function so that for it will be easy for you to read uh, fun so I will create second parameter will be a closure and uh, it, it, re it receives a view so on this view method I will call view object I will call a with method the first parameter will be the just uh, the same thing that we have specified in the uh, view comp uh, company info composer company info composer uh, and the second will be the data the data that you want to receive within the view actually an error now. let me debug that so I will go to uh, Laravel uh, so I think uh, there is an issue here so let me go to Laravel documentation and see what mistakes I have done ok so you don't need to specify the uh, type object type within the function so I will remove view and run once again ok perfect so we are receiving the data now so this is how you can use a view composer method uh, to, run, to receive data across different views and also you can uh, specify which, da uh, which data you want to receive in a particular view uh, so thank you for watching my videos if you like my videos then subscribe to my channel thank you